Hello everyone, it's Roadman, and welcome back to Monster Hunter Rise. Last time, we basically got a basic tutorial of how to hunt onto in the Shrine Ruins. And now this time, we're actually going to go into the Shrine Ruins and go on some hunting trips. As you can see, we do have three required quests that we have to do. We only have to do two of them. Which, all you have to do is just pick the ones that you want to do. What I recommend is that you pick the ones that you want to do. I'm going to say we'll do one of these and then one of these. So let's let's deliver fire lanterns. And with this, I don't recommend Bunny Dongo because this is just a collecting quest. And basically, gathering quests basically just have you just collecting materials just around the map. Let's go. And basically, every map does give you, upon initially visit a new location, your map in yada 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 yada, fog, unknown monsters or monsters that you've never hunted before are indicated with a generic icon on your map. However, once you Come in contact with a monster. The generic icon is replaced by a monster's unique icon, and your Kahoot will mark it for you on your map. From that point on, the unique icon will display your map and from the start of the quest. Okay, then. Okay, I was about to explain the delivery thing. These can be completed by delivering specific items. Account items will automatically be delivered upon gathering them. Transport items need to be delivered to the supply box as they cannot be fit into your pouch. If you approach a supply box while carrying a transport item, you can deliver them by pressing A. And luckily there are no transport quests that has you carrying an egg. Listen up. So what I do recommend here is, yep, grab your potions and rations. Let's go. Getting on to your little doggo here. And basically going to anything that basically has a green dot on it. If it has a green dot on it, that's basically what we are looking for. Delivery complete. Which basically, any items that we'll see and find will basically count to our delivery. And as the tutorial mentioned, there are some items where you actually do have to transport them. Luckily, we don't have to do that. Sweet. Ever. I hope. And this is actually more or less a good way to just clear out the fog on the map here so you know where you need to be. I really need to be grabbing those. Where is it? I know I just saw it here. There it is. And of course, I do want to just, while you're running through here, grab the spirit bird so you can basically get your boost in power. And always just basically just collect materials along the way as you as you can. I'm gonna ignore these guys for right now because they are no th nothing of importance. Okay, where is the thing we're looking for? Here, item, item, item. Yeah, the one thing about the gathering quest is that you do have to travel out of the way for them. And you can use your silk bind just to basically get to certain areas of the map. For example, the, one of the areas that we have to get through is up here. So, while you're just trying to climb all the way up there, just grab items along the way. Go ahead and ignore you for right now. And more or less just enjoy the scenery sometimes. Okay, where am I? I am officially lost. Okay, I was meaning to go towards more of the right side of the mountain, but okay. I want to grab that bug. 
Eventually, I'm gonna find. Looks like there's something here. Eventually, I want to get back to towards the uh, right side of this mountain. Otherwise, let's just climb up here. Okay, where am I actually trying to go here? Okay, I'm going to get off of the doggo here and see if I could just... Ah, yes, the wall running technique. That's not what I wanted to do. Okay, let's see if we can travel more of the map and see if we can just find what we're looking for here because obviously the item that we're looking for is way on top of there. Of course, out of all the items I have to pick, it's going to be the most difficult one item to find. Oh, right, the Sydney Springs. Attack these bushes, cut them down to reveal spare birds hiding in there. Oh, well, we can't attack them now. Okay, I gotta figure out where the rest of these items are. I might as well just clear out this map quickly. Okay, so there's one over here. Also, Basically, it doesn't matter like how high it is, you can basically get up there. Okay, where are you? There we go. Now we just have to find one more. Let's go. Which I think... Oh, wait, we can just find one more back at the camp, so let's just fast travel back to camp. These gathering quests do restore... Basically, restore the items back up so you can collect items as long as you want. But once you're done with the gathering quests, it's basically done from there. So let's just grab this item here. And technically, our quest is now done. Now, like I said, take this opportunity to just walk around and see if you can collect any items left that you might have wanted to collect. Just take a time to travel around and see if you can collect any items, which you're not providing me any items. Are you plasticating me? Good doggo and cat. And of course, we do get items for just collecting stuff. You can sell it if you want. I recommend just keeping them. Otherwise, the other type of quest that you can actually go and accept oh, is more or less a slaying quest, which we here we just need to slay eight Jagras. Should be easy enough. And this one, I also don't recommend eating any bunny doggo either. Those infernal Jagras keep measuring with my visits to the shrine ruins. They're they're after the offerings I bring with me. Those rude blasphemous fiends. Send them running with their tails between their legs. Ready for anything. And that's basically the quest quest that we're doing. And luckily the red circles will tell us who we're hunting for. So my advice here is just this. Before going on your doggo, just slide down. And basically, we're just hunting these little lizards. A lot of times, you just probably just want to just start with attacking them. And once you actually do slay them, I actually do recommend just having your pets just take care of them while you just carve off any items that you want from them. 
And after you're done doing that... Is this Warhog seriously actually going to try to get in my way here? You know what? I'm going to kill this Warhog because it's getting in my way. Nothing personal, buddy. Okay. Yeah, nothing personal. Just, you got in my way, and now I'm going to basically collect your material here. Now, don't worry about the red circles not disappearing. It just means that the monster's corpse is just still there. So, for right now, let's just keep on, on going t towards and getting more of these monsters killed. Because there should be more, like, right about here. Which, if we do this, we can actually get ourselves a good jumping attack whenever engaging combat. Okay. So, we got another one killed. I'm going to just collect this guy's materials while my pets take care of the Jagra. And let's just take care of this little guy here. And it's, we'll take care of this Jagger as well. And we only just need... Need about like... Yeah, we only need about like four more. So if you actually... I said, if you use your problem mode, you can actually jump up here easily. And we use the endemic life here. Oh, that's just a snow beetle. Never mind. And yeah, we're just, just trying to slay all this stuff. Very easy quest to do. A lot of times I just recommend that you have your pets killed off the animals while you just carve up the corpse that are left I'll remaining. This. Did that Jigger seriously just retreat it all the way over there? Well, looks like I'm gonna have to go and kill them. That takes care of that. We're down to seven. Collect this. And we only just need one more, which there seems to be one more down. There just seems to be one more. Let's go. More up up by Well, past area three here. Collecting that herb. And let's actually kill this last one while basically traveling with the dog. Come on, Rue. You can take take care of him. So here's the thing. you Like they said, the attack is actually weaker, but... Yeah. Nothing personal, buddy. You essentially can just collect the materials here. Now, like I said, the game does give you some time to just collect outside materials or just kill anything that's within distance. So let's see if we can kill, kill this thing within the time limit. Come on, let's see if we can do this. Come on. Give me your material. Thank you. And that's another wire bug that the game did tell you that you could actually collect it, basically temporarily have. And there's more endemic life. Another thing you could do, you could actually go to your menu and actually just end it easily. Back to the village. Quest complete. And, of course, we do get some more items out of this as well. I think we also got some Bulfango items as well. No? Yes? No. 
Oh well. Rewards. And of course our buddies also do have levels that on them as well. And of course, just waiting for the loading screen to just change. Ah, Darian, Yamogi over in the tea shop has been looking for ya. She seems upset over something. Go check her on her, would ya? Okay, let's go talk to Yomogi the chef. Worst news ever. Darian, have you heard? Have you heard? Terrible news. This is a real emergency. Ow. Uh, I bit my tongue. Ow. Alright, the news. A great Azushi is tearing up the shrine ruins. It's an absolute carnage. Okay, slight exaggeration, but there really is a great Azuchi, and it's parked its stupid monster butt right on our main trade out route. Please, you gotta get rid of it. If you don't, my supply of dango ingredients won't get delivered. Please? Oh, thank you so much. I love you. Okay, okay. Hunting that great Azuchi is now an urgent request that you can accept from Hinoa. So, yeah, there is a great Azuchi causing problems. So, we just talked to Hinoa. Darian, an urgent request has been issued. Urgent requests need to be taken care of ASAP. And if you don't, things will get bad. Like, real bad. Right now, things are looking grim. Yamogi ran over and told me that Great Azuchi is blocking an important trade route near the Shrine Ruins. And not any old trade route. It's the old one merchants used to bring ingredients for Bunny Dongo. Oh, no. We might actually run out of Bunny Dongo. I feel faint. You've got to get rid of that monster but be careful great azuchis usually have a band of mini azuchis in tow they can gang up on you if you don't watch out okay get out there and save our dongo sure so yeah urchin after you get the required village quest done you will be given the urgent quest which is the great azuchi as you can see this is a two star now one thing is I know my audience is not dumb, and they've been reading the title of what this Let's Play, being called Roid Man and Friends. So, you're all probably wondering, Roid Man, where the heck are your friends? Well, I'll be back with you in one moment. So, to explain wh where my friends are, I made an overlay to represent the multiplayer feature as well. As you can see, we do have village progress, and unfortunately, you can't bring your friends into village quests. But I want to introduce this more into like a multiplayer feature, so I'll be using the hub quests to represent the village quests. Along with that, shout out to Morphe Galaxy for making this great overlay here. Basically what this overlay will be represented are basically who are hunting with me and what weapons they will be using. So, next time on Monster Hunter Rise, you'll be seeing my friends and I hunt the Great Izuchi.